for the next drawing, I'm going to jump over to the chair. I still have my left and my right vanishing points that I need for the chair, so I'm going to keep that in mind as I'm drawing. For this chair, um, I'm doing a small sketch down here. I just want a very simple, basic chair. Okay, I'm going to face mine to the right. You could face it to the left if you wanted to. Um, it's really up to you. So I see that the corner of the chair is right here. I need to know how far back I want the chair to go. I don't want to go super far back, so I'm going to go here, and then make it a skinny chair. All right, then I'm going to take the bottom of this out to my vanishing point, and take the top out to my vanishing point, and then this part out. The, this looks kind of weird. So what's happening is we have the actual back of the chair facing us and then the seat of the chair is facing this way. So if you sat, you'd be looking at this vanishing point. So this is the very top of the chair, which isn't super big. Usually they're kind of small or skinny. I'll draw a line here with my left vanishing point. And then for right now, these are done. I'm going to come straight down again. Like I said, I'm being a very basic chair here. So I have this line scooted over, come straight down. So now I've made this part of my chair. I need the seat and I need some front legs. Um, I'm going to make my seat somewhere right here. I have a longer back than it is seat, and I think that looks more realistic. There's my seat, there's a side of it, and then I need to figure out where does the seat end. So if this is the seat coming out, let's make it end not super far away. Okay, so these two are done, but we are not. So we need something to sit on, right? We need a chair seat. So this is the corner of the seat, like the front right corner. It's not a vertical line, it's a horizontal line, but there really aren't any horizontal lines in two point perspective. So I need to make sure it's lined up with my left vanishing point this over here. And now this is our seat area. So I'll shade that in to make it easier to see. This chair still looks a little odd. So what I need to do is think about if this is the top of the seat, how thick is the chair until it opens underneath. For this activity, I'm going to make mine not super, super thick in here. All right, so we have a thickness of the wood or whatever it's made of. I need the back of the seat. So if I would bring this down to the back and then come over to the vanishing point, this would be about where the seat opens in the back. But we do need to see those legs. So I'm going to come over, put a couple legs in. Okay. Okay, the lines are finished. And then similar to the table, the legs are not totally flat. You need to have some sort of 3D look to them. Line this up here, put in a little bit, and go straight up. This is like the inner part of the leg that you're seeing. Here's the back, here's the same part on this leg it's already made for us. This one up here, come down, come to the left vanishing point for the back part, and then this is very skinny, I'll just come straight up. So I lace this. Gently shade this in so you can see the front of it. Let's zoom in a little bit. All right, so technically, I need to clean this up a little bit, and then our chair is done. Super simple. You could always add more pizzazz to it by rounding the corners, adding some sort of detail to the back. If you're facing it the other way, you might see the front of the chair. Um, but things to think about are the thicknesses of the legs what you want to see and what makes sense logically.